ambush! Their numbers are overwhelming. Surrender may be our only option. No! Don't give them an inch. It is your move, Captain. I'm aware of that, Mr. Spock. Damn it! Your choice was valid, Captain, but highly predictable. Predictable? Since when have I ever been predictable? That is precisely why the move was predictable, Captain. Another... Captain, we have received an emergency signal from a nearby space station. Please report to the bridge at once. Shall we finish the game later, or do you concede defeat? <laughs> you should know me better than that by now, Spock. I never concede. Oscillation? That's the first thing I tried. I'm stumped. Commander? Chief? I just got the results of those scans. Good work, Captain. Chief. I just got the results of those scans. Good work, Ensign. Down there. The radiation from those binary stars is making communications difficult, but the station appears to be in some sort of distress. Hmm. Check off readings. They're operating on emergency power and are struggling to maintain altitude. Cause? Unknown, sir. Captain, they have issued a request for immediate evacuation. Then let's help them out. Mr. Scott, prepare transporters. I wouldn't recommend it, sir. Those stars are giving off too much interference. Unless we achieve manual lock, we might fry those little guys. Then we'll get him out the old-fashioned way. Prepare my shuttle, meet me in the bay. Aye, aye, sir. Captain, in spite of your seemingly endless desire to stretch your legs, I must remind you that you are still a Starfleet captain. This is clearly a job that Mr. Scott and a few ensigns could handle. But then I'd miss all the fun. Sir, the more prudent choice would be to stay on the Enterprise and wait for a response to our hails. Oh, you're right. Lieutenant Uhura, any response to our hails? None, sir. No? Well, looks like I'm going. Captain, I must insist. You insist? You know what, Mr. Spock? A change of scenery might do you some good. Captain, you come with me. Your shuttle's ready, Captain. But do you think it's wise to go yourself? I'm sure me and some recruits could handle this. Don't worry, Scotty. We'll be fine. Always makes me nervous when he says that. Let's get to Yeah. Why do we got it?
robot gets suited up. Enterprise shuttle, confirming approach at 5 by 6. Maintain minimal safe distance. Affirmative, Enterprise. I'm picking up high levels of radiation from two binary stars. The little space station would have been fried by those two stars by now. What the hell are they doing out there? Captain, the station appears to be outfitted with solar collectors, but they are unlike any I have ever encountered. Mr. Sula, do you have any clue what an experimental power station would be doing out here in the middle of nowhere? Negative, Captain. Whatever they're doing, Starfleet doesn't have any record of it. Preparing for final approach. Keep the engine running, Mr. Sulu. I don't think we plan on staying on that thing for too long. Aye, Captain. Officer, where is the captain of this station? This way. You must hurry. Damn it! Is this the fun you were afraid you were going to miss, Captain? Right. We need to get everyone out of here right away. Captain, we must find an alternate route. Very perceptive, Mr. Spock. Anything we need to worry about right now? The readings are off the charts, sir, but I don't think so. I'll just keep an eye on it, Mr. Chekhov. Aye, aye, sir. Sir, please assist me with this door. Get him out of there. I believe the door can be hacked from this side. Please, you must be hacked! Quick! My strength is fading! <sighs> I am in your debt. Formalities are unnecessary. Please proceed to the shuttle bay for immediate evacuation. Captain, I must mention that many of these crew members appear to be Vulcan. Your point. With fewer than 10,000 Vulcans remaining, I question the logic of placing them on any type of experimental power station. I question putting anybody on this thing, Mr. Spock, Vulcan or not. Agreed, sir. The door is locked.
anomaly and the failure of this station are most assuredly connected. One catastrophe at a time, Mr. Spock. Stepping into that scanner. No other way around, Spock. Circumstances dictate that you strike now, Captain. Captain Kirk of the USS Enterprise, we have a shuttle ready for your evacuation. While we appreciate your assistance, our captain and many of our top scientists are trapped in the transporter room on the other side of the station. We cannot simply abandon them. Any suggestions, Mr. Spock? If we were able to reach them, Mr. Scott may then be able to obtain a manual lock on our positions. I'm afraid that may prove impossible. All interior passages are blocked. Will the suits hold up out there? With the solar shield failing, direct exposure would mean certain death. Well, I hate certain death. Spock, let's try to avoid direct exposure. Captain, I will offer whatever assistance I can over your communicator. But again, I fear that these efforts... Yeah, yeah, we get it. Certain death. Any other words of advice? Try to live long and prosper. Gauge mag boots now, sir. The solar collector is failing. We must avoid direct exposure. That suit is gonna melt off your back. Get into cover, Spock. Captain, we should stay in cover until it regenerates. Got it. Wait for it. Go now.
station's core. We seek whatever further assistance you can provide. The only way forward is to shut down the core's rings. To do this, you will need to work together. One of you must scan the control console to stop the ring. This will allow the other person to engage the locking mechanism. Commander, I must warn you, a manual shutdown under these circumstances is highly risky. Gotcha. We should split up. I have located the control console. I believe I can scan it to stop the ring. Spock, shoot the lock. We need a way to permanently stop the rings. Perhaps a phaser blast would release the mechanism. Another one down. Just one more ring to go. This place is falling apart! Time to shoot the locking mechanism. One of us has to stop it to expose the break. When the ring is stopped, that break is exposed. Find some cover, that's in order. That worked. Let's keep moving. Through the core, let's find that stranded crew. Great. 
cover. I believe we may be able to open those vents. Perhaps our phasers will work. Worth a shot. and failing. Transporter is still unable to obtain a reliable signal. Let me worry about the transporter. Just get your people ready to beam out. What are you waiting for? I was speaking to my captain. It's all right, Commander. Do as he says. Aye, Captain. Ah, uh, Captain. I don't believe we've met. I'm, uh, James Kerr, captain of the USS Enterprise. And you are? I am in need of assistance, Captain. Tomorrow. Mr. Spock, it is a relief to see you here. Tomorrow. In what way can we assist you? Our station has experienced a complete loss of power. Our transporter functions are also unreliable. There does not appear to be a safe way to beam out. There's always a way. Scotty, think you can get a lock on me? I'll try, sir. What's going on down there, Captain? That was a wake-up call, Mr. Scott. I need you to work a little faster. On it, sir. We should make our way to the transporter, Captain. Oh, uh, after you. So, how do you two know each other? We were classmates back on Vulcan. Just classmates? I realize this may be difficult for you to understand, Captain, but on Vulcan, relationships between the sexes do not automatically imply an intimate past. Another reason I'm glad I'm not a Vulcan. Captain. Ready and waiting for transport. See? There's always a way. After you, Captain. I will not leave this vessel until my crew is safely out of danger. As a captain yourself, I'm sure you would do the same. I like this one. There are a few that you do not like, Captain. Prepare to energize. Thank you.
Are you all right, Captain? I'm definitely better now, thanks. Captain, we have a problem. <sighs> Another one? What is it, Mr. Chekhov? I... I think you need to see for yourself. Tomorrow, a simple solar flare should not have caused the loss of power to your station. Do you know the origin of your vessel's malfunction? It did not malfunction. Uh, didn't appear that way to us. That station was used to harness the energy from the binary stars. However, all of the station's primary controls were operated from a base located on a nearby planet. What planet? We are calling it New Vulcan. So it is true. Spock, as you know, after the destruction of Vulcan, we have been searching for a suitable planet to rebuild our race. New Vulcan seemed perfect. However, a project of this magnitude would have taken generations to complete. In order to speed up this process, we created a device called the Helios machine. Your station was to harness the energy from the binary stars to power the Helios machine located on New Vulcan. Precisely. Two days ago, and for some unknown reason, the power to our station was shut off. Without power, our station could not withstand the gravitational pull of the stars. What moron would shut down the machine if they knew this would happen? That moron would be Sirak. Never heard of him. Sirak is Tamar's father, and a great mentor to myself and the Vulcan people. Uh, sorry? Why would Sirak shut down power to your station? He must have been aware that doing so would be catastrophic for you and your crew. Unfortunately, the Helios machine may have caused an anomaly. An anomaly? This just keeps getting better. We need to get to the bridge. Chekhov, tell me something. It is highly unusual, sir, but I believe it's some kind of rip in the actual fabric of space. Like a wormhole? Something like that, sir. It appears to be a shortcut through space. Where does it lead? There is no way to know for sure, Commander. I believe that rip is the reason my father ordered the Helios machine to be shut down. Then we need to talk to him right away. Lieutenant Ahura Hail New Vulcan. Aye, Captain. It is no use, Captain. We lost communication with them when the Helios machine was shut down. Captain, scans indicate the reap is contracting. At the current rate, it will be gone in approximately 12 hours. Good. The fewer anomalies we have to deal with, the better. Captain, no response to our hails. Mr. Sulu, bring us in range of New Vulcan. We're going down there. I must request permission to join you, Captain. Spock, are you sure that's within protocol? I mean, maybe we should just send Scotty and some recruits. Captain, I hope the importance of New Vulcan is not lost on you. Our people cannot afford another tragedy. This planet is the best hope for our race to prosper. Noted. Then you should also note that having a Vulcan as a member of your away team would be essential to the success of this mission. And I am the only one on this ship that has ever been on the surface of New Vulcan, or has experience with the Helios all machine. Alright, alright, alright. Great. Now there's two of you guys driving me nuts. Transport ready, Captain. My phaser, Mr. Scott? I've pitched some wee modifications on it, just like you asked. I've been working on some other options, too. I've got phase cannons, photon disruptors, and wait till I show you these plasma rifles. 
Still working out a few things. My phaser will do, Mr. Scott. I guess you don't want to hear about the stasis grenades, then. Nasty little buggers. But if you want your phaser, here's your phaser. Energize. Any further out and I'd be back in Iowa, Mr. Scott. Sorry, sir. Too much interference. I had to drop you outside. Quiet around here. Is that normal tomorrow? Negative, Captain. For some reason, the highest security protocols have been enabled on this door. Can we hack it? Possibly, but you will have to work together to beat the encryption. Captain, the system seemed to have been purposely shut down. I can provide assistance. Tamar, can you operate all the systems from here? Yes, I helped build and design... Captain, if you are implying that I should stay behind... Tamar, we may need your technical assistance should things get... Unfriendly? Unpredictable. But my father... When we find him, you'll be the first to know. I will remain in constant contact. Thank you. Captain, shall we proceed? After you. I believe we have a problem. Really? But you can't make that jump. It is highly doubtful that either of us can cross unharmed. I will follow your lead, Captain. dead, Captain. I did. That guy wasn't right in the head. I understand that our lives were at risk, but we must endeavor not to use lethal force. Agreed. We both need to use stun from this point on. I think he's been poisoned. Scans show numerous toxins in the adrenal glands and bloodstream. Another disturbed individual. We gotta take him out, but remember, stun only. I would not have it any other way. Keep hiding! Your survival depends on it! You should attack now, sir. Who is there? Ah. This door is locked tight. We need a code. A mind meld may be our only chance to find out what has happened. Are you sure you want to touch that guy? 
A mind meld is our only option. Anything? I have never encountered this before. His mind has been corrupted. Also, I now know the code to that door. Enterprise, we have injured. Prepare to transport. Captain, I am detecting several Vulcans behind this door, but their readings are erratic. May I suggest setting our phasers to stun? After all, they are Vulcans. <laughs> no lethal force! Stun them bones might be able to save them! I cannot control them! Let's find the Ciroc guy and get the hell out of here. Officer. Quickly, come in. Lock the keypad. Savensu. Spock. Sirak, I am relieved to see you unharmed. This is my commanding officer, Captain Kirk. Captain, this is Sirak. Pleasure. And Tamar? I am here, Father. Tamar, I am pleased to hear your voice. Now what the hell is going on down there? We have been attacked. Creatures of an unknown origin. They emerged from the rip not long after it appeared. What creatures? We have only been able to decipher that they call themselves the Gorn. Spock, we cannot allow the power of the Helios machine to fall into their hands. It would be catastrophic. How would they be after the machine? If they could use it to create rips anywhere in the universe. They would be able to attack without warning. Where's the machine now? Further underground, in the colony's deepest labs. I have secured all entries into the lab to prevent the device from falling into hostile hands. Tamar, are you able to provide additional assistance? I can open the fire door that leads further into the labs. After that point, I will no longer be able to assist them. Your guidance is all we ask. Then I advise caution. There are likely to be more infected Vulcans up ahead. Got it. You appear to be approaching a disabled door. We'll force it open. Your success is unlikely. The structure of this door is designed for containment. It may be possible to restore power using a spare power cell. I will mark the location of the power cells on your tricorders. and maintain a low profile, we should avoid detection. Captain, if you must dispatch them, please be merciful. Understood.
new dawn for the Vulcan people. The colony we are establishing here is the first step towards restoring what was lost when our home world was destroyed. The Elder Spark was wise to suggest the planet as far from the neighboring systems as possible. That distance gives us a message. Stay down. Don't let them see you. But Spock does not know what? about the Omnius device. We need it to terraform the planet. But I know... Use stun! That's in order! Damn it, Spock! Use the stun setting! We have been able to keep the existence of Helios a secret from all but a select few. I can only hope it stays that way. Think one of us can get behind that guy and take him out before he notices? Most certainly, our Starfleet training has prepared us for this moment. Dr. McCoy, have you been able to ascertain the nature of the Vulcan's infection? There seems to be high toxin levels. Origins unknown, but we'll continue to investigate. Bones? They're breaking up. I can hear you deep underground. Lost them. It appears we are now completely on our own. You stun! That's an order! No lethal force! If we stun them, Bones might be able to save them! Great. More friendlies. I have lost all Spock, use the stun setting! The amount of infected we have encountered is alarming. Captain, this access hatch may prove useful. The coroner attempting to steal the device. You must hurry.
Captain, the Helios device. He's got the device. We must not let him escape. We are too late. They have taken the Helios device. Sirac? He does not appear to be answering, Captain. Shit. We gotta get that device back. Tamar, do you know where they went? Difficult to tell, but it appears that they are taking it towards the surface. <sighs> we'll never catch them. Captain, if I restore power to the turbo lift, you may be able to intercept them. Do it. Enterprise, come in. Scotty, check off. Respond. You will have a difficult time communicating with your crew, Captain. When the Helios device is out of its containment cell, it causes a great deal of interference. Ah, perfect. Looks like it's just you and me, Spock. That seems to be the usual course. Must lock the keypad. Combine our strength, we can open this door. I believe that water is now in the Water is now an electrical hazard. We need to find a way across without stepping in the water. Get wet and I get zapped. Seems simple enough. Indeed. We 
need to find a way to cross without stepping in this water. That room is equipped with extendable electronics bays. Deploying them may provide the route you need. I await your orders, Captain. Not gonna happen, Spock. must be your top priority. Sorak would not have us save him, only to put the entire galaxy in danger. Tamar, what's the status of the device? They've nearly reached the surface. Damn it, we need to move faster. Cells. Where are we going to find another power cell? Perhaps we can retrieve a power cell from a functional socket. I would advise you insert the power cell. <laughs> Captain, I think I see a power cell in that laboratory. Please, Captain. Gotta be kidding me. Where are these things coming from? Your skill with weapons is to be confirmed. More coming! I am in dire need of assistance. Hold on, I'm coming! Here he goes! Let's get him!
That was impressive. I'm on my way. Coming to help. Uh, take it easy, Spock. The sooner we get you to the med bay, the sooner we can heal that leg. You should hurry. I'm detecting more Gorn approaching your location. Uh, there's a gurney over there. More creatures are approaching your position. Captain, I will not be able to repair your leg and hold off these creatures at the same time. Just fix my leg, Spock. I'll hold them off. Let me assist you. Enjoying this, aren't you? I assure you that I am not. This may ah, damn it hurt. Incoming. I believe you should now be able to stand. Good as new. Let's get out of here. Captain, we must find a way outside. I am on my way to your location. It is too dangerous. Stay where you are. Is that understood? Tamar! I would assume that she has disobeyed your request, Captain. Not surprised. She is Vulcan.
Kirk, this way. These Gorn have completely infested our colony. wall of green dead ahead. Well, can you move back then? Not so much. I don't know what you two are doing down there, but my job involves very complex formulas and precise calculations. <laughs> Scotty, we're pinned in. Do it now. Aye, aye, Captain. There's too much interference. I can't get a lock on you. Then we need a bigger gun. Scotty, prepare torpedoes. Fire on my mark. Left you, Captain, but I can't see a thing down there. I'm gonna need a little help. Then we'll paint you a target. Aye, sir. Mr. Scott, need I remind you that the situation is critical. Time is of the essence. means they are leaving the planet with the Helios device. Scotty, energize! Full power, Mr. Sulu. We need to disable that ship. Aye, sir. Captain, the enemy ships are almost in range. Lieutenant Uhura, open hailing frequencies. No response, sir. I don't feel like talking anyway. Sulu, check off. Prepare to engage hostiles. Aye, aye. Yes, sir. Captain, sensors indicate a Vulcan life sign on the larger enemy ship. It is Sorak. Captain, I would advise a more cautious approach. Noted. Enemy fighters within range, Captain. Captain, enemy ships changing course. They're heading towards us. Phaser banks fully charged, Captain. Ready when you are. Hold weapons fire only on my mark. Fighters approaching in three, two, one. Fire! That damn ship is out there taking shots at us. I recommend focusing all weapon fire on its vital points, Captain. I'm seeing a dramatic increase in enemy count, sir. Then let's get this over with. Indeed. What the hell are they doing? 
They appear to be engaging in some kind of suicide mission. Scotty, damage report. Assessing damage, but at first peak she seems to be holding together, sir. But I don't know how much more of this she can take. Jeez, oh yeah, basta! So check off, make sure none of them get through. Towards the rip. With the attack fighters destroyed, we should easily overtake the remaining vessels, Captain. Hold your fire, Sulu. Take us to full impulse and bring us within transporter range. Uhura, hail the lead ship. Tell them they're about to be boarded. I said hold your fire! Captain, it wasn't us. If I didn't know any better, I'd see they were firing on their own ship. They are creating a debris field with their own people. In torpedo range, sir. Target their engines. Just what that ship disabled. There's too much debris. We can't line up the shot. Then you'll have to do it manually. This should be interesting. <laughs>
Cora, get me Starfleet Command. Sulu, set a pursuit course. We're going after them? Full impulse power, Sulu. Aye, aye, sir. Jim, sick bay is overflowing. We need to get these people to the nearest star base immediately. Sir, the rip is interfering with communications. I can't hail command. Wait, so your plan is to go through a compressing tear in the fabric of space, to chase a vicious alien race that we don't know anything about, except they now have a doomsday device, and we can't even call for backup? Perhaps the doctor is right. If we were to fail in our pursuit, Starfleet would know nothing of our fate. Entering the rip in two minutes, Captain. We really don't even know what's on the other side, Jim. Power down, Mr. Sulu. Commodore Daniels operates a starbase nearby. He could offer additional support. Daniels? Really? Kind of hate that guy. While I agree with your assessment of his character, Captain, he may be our only option. Tomorrow we will get your father back, I promise. I appreciate your compassion, Captain. But we must focus our energies on retrieving the Helios machine. If the Gorn learn to harness its power... That isn't gonna happen. Sulu, pilot the Enterprise back to New Vulcan. Search for any other survivors and bring them back to this base as soon as you can. Aye, aye, sir. Lieutenant, energize. <laughs> <laughs> 